You've made your resolutions, so how are you going to make them stick? That's the question. Here with some strategies for you as UW Health Clinical Psychologist, Dr. Shyla Mergain. So, Shyla, we make these resolutions, but sometimes it's just hard to carry through on them, right? It is, and most people set their New Year's resolutions ineffectively, so by mid-January, go back to old patterns. And I'm going to talk about the science of change and how to make your resolutions stick. Okay, so one of your first points here is find your inner motivator. What does that mean? Yes. So use this time of year to think about what you really want to change. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, what is one significant change I'll be grateful I made one year from now? Okay. And how might making that change lead me to who I want to be and the life I, that I want to live? And then identify your reasons. Feel passionate about them. These are your inner motivators and uh -huh. will give you that resolve to stick to your plan. That's a good one. And this one is stay small and specific. Mm -hmm. The Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with with a single step. Mm -hmm. And so it is with New Year's resolutions. So think about that year end goal and break it down into smaller, specific, right. and realistic steps. Think about a one month, one week plan of action, mm -hmm. how much, how often, by when. And then remember to take daily action to turn your dream into reality. So I'm not going to be a millionaire by February. I'm going to start <laughs> saving more, that yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> start right. saving okay. $10. Number three is write mm -hmm. it down. Research shows that if we write down our goal, it significantly increases oh. our chance of achieving it so write it down and post it where somewhere where you can see it frequently I can hear people writing right now and number four is plan for setbacks because it doesn't yeah. always go the way we want no set, setbacks happen that's mm -hmm. life John but what's more important is how you respond when they happen so don't beat yourself up but be kind to yourself and encourage yourself think about what you learned what you can do differently and then make sure you do one small thing to get back on track this will provide momentum in a positive direction oh all really good and You've got a neat project coming up in February with UW Health, and uh, you're helping people kind of achieve a healthier lifestyle. And we've got more on that, too, at NBC15.com. What's the project called again? Um, 28 Days, 28 Ways to Love Your Heart, and we'll provide okay. daily tips to okay. really help you achieve these goals because it's really one effective New Year's resolution at a time that we transform our lives, ourselves, and the world. Perfect. And we have a link to that UW Health uh, project at NBC15.com under News Links. Dr. Shyla Mergain, a belated Happy New Year to you, and Thank thanks you. for helping us all make our new year a little better. We'll be right back after this.